In this problem, we have two sets of parentheses, so we'll use the distributive property two times to eliminate those parentheses. In the first set of parentheses, we will multiply through by 5. So we'll have the 5 times 3x, and then we have minus the 5 times 4y. In our second set of parentheses, we're distributing the negative sign through. So we'll have the negative, you can think of it as a negative 1 if you'd like. The negative times 2x makes that negative 2x. Then we have a negative and another negative. When you multiply a negative times a negative, you get a positive y. So if we do the multiplication, we have 5 times 3x is 15x minus 5 times 4y is 20y. Then we have a minus 2x and a plus y. The commutative property allows us to regroup so that we can put the 15x and the negative 2x together and put the negative 20y and the positive 1y together. So I will leave the 15x first, but now we have a negative 2x to subtract from that. Then we have negative 20y and a positive y to combine with that so that we can regroup our values. And looking at our like terms now, 15x minus 2x is the same as plus a negative 2x. 15 plus negative 2 is 13, so we have 13x. Here a negative 20, and when there's no coefficient, that means a coefficient of 1. So negative 20 plus 1 is negative, or subtracting 19y. So we have 13x minus 19y.